The Gospel began with the trial of Jesus. Ang paglilitis kay Jesus. Kapag may paglilitis, may paghuhukom. Pero siya lang ba yung nililitis? Is he the only one being tried? And the answer is no. The Jewish leaders were also being tried. Nililitis din sila sapagkat sila ay sinungaling, naiinggit, nagseselos. Si Pilato kasama ang mga Romano ay kasama sa nililitis sapagkat namumuhay sila sa kurakot at namumuhay silang manhid sa pangangailangan ng taong bayan. Ang labindalawang alagad ay nililitis din for denial, for betrayal, for abandoning a friend in need. And the passers-by were also being tried sapagkat napakababaw ng pananampalataya kaya tinutokso nila si Jesus bumaba ka na riyan ikaw naman ang Diyos. The sins of the Jewish leaders the sins of the Roman leaders the sins of the apostles and the sins of the passing by crowd continue to be the sins of us all. Dishonesty, hypocrisy, jealousy, envy, insensitivity to the poor, corruption, abandoning a friend who is in need, denial, betrayal for 30 pieces of silver, Mababaw na pananampalataya. Kaya kapag nagkakagipitan, ay wala ng paninindigan. My dear brothers and sisters, in this gospel trial of Jesus, we are also on trial. Jesus is declared innocent and the Jewish leaders the Roman leaders, the apostles, the crowd were on trial also and they were guilty. Subalit, kabaligtaran ng lahat ng kabaligtaran, yung may utang, hindi na kailangang magbayad at yung walang utang, siyang nagbayad ng lahat. That is the mystery of Holy Week. The innocent pays for the punishment of the guilty. And the guilty whose punishment has been paid for continue to be numb, continue to be ungrateful, continue to be forgetful. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube and I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you with more reflections, with more homilies, and then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart, the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord. It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.